Every day we heard that same Muslim call to prayer several times a day that you heard at the beginning of this video, reminding us that we were gospel invaders in occupied territory, long held by people who did not want their people hearing the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Mark Waite, and I'm the founder and director of a ministry known as Regions in Need. This is a ministry that my wife Nancy and I started when we were serving as missionaries among an unreached Muslim people group in Africa several years ago. And while living and serving among this Muslim unreached people group, we saw God working in exciting and even miraculous ways to draw people to himself. In fact, we even saw a Muslim Imam, the leader of the mosque, given eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to believe in Jesus as he one day professed his faith in Christ after several weeks of a Bible study in the Gospel of John. It was an exciting time for us as not only did he give his heart to Christ, but Members of his family also came to know Jesus through the gospel. Uh, extended members of the family came to know Christ and even neighbors and members of the mosque. And so we were experiencing just this great time of gospel fruitfulness, but we needed help and we needed help fast. And the reason why we needed help is because we had so many new baby Christians on our hands, we just didn't have enough energy or, or opportunity or time or ability to disciple them all. It's kind of like the story in Acts 11, 19 through 26, where Barnabas is sent up to the uh, town of Antioch to see what's going on because the church in Jerusalem is hearing about all these new believers. And so he goes up there and sure enough, there are a whole bunch of new believers. So he's got all these new believers on his hands and he needs help and he needs it fast. So he goes down and he gets Paul to come up there to Antioch to help him. Well, we were in a similar situation, but we didn't have the Apostle Paul right around the corner. So we reached out to some African believers who were willing to help, but needed training in making disciples and planning churches. Well, 12 Cameroonian believers answered the call and they came to live with us in our home where we invested several months pouring us much Bible, theology, love, and practical hands-on ministry and church planting training into them as they could handle. And then we turned them loose. And what a great job they did and are still doing 10 years later. You see, national believers whom God calls to work as evangelists, missionaries, pastors, and church planters among their own people have the advantage of knowing and understanding their own culture and language well. However, they sometimes don't know and don't understand the Word of God well enough to truly minister the gospel to their own people group or other unreached people groups around them. And so this is where regions in need can help by providing a theologically robust, biblically saturated, cross-culturally savvy, gospel-centered, field-proven Bible education to those believers so they can preach the gospel, preach the Word of God, make disciples, and plant biblical churches among unreached and least-reached people groups in their own countries. and we help them to extend gospel influence into areas of the world among unreached and least reached peoples so that Christ is made known. We want Christ to receive the reward of his sufferings on the cross. We want his name to be made known among all the peoples of the earth. And so we work hard at Regions in Need to provide national pastors and church planters and church workers with the tools they need, whether that be training or resourcing 
whether that be uh, more education, understanding the Bible and theology better, whether that be giving them resources so that they can adorn the gospel, whatever it is, even if it's encouragement or pastoral care, we do whatever we can to help these people extend gospel influence where it has not gone before. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you'd like to know more about regions in need, what we believe, where we serve, uh, what we do and how we serve, then please go ahead and take some time to check out our website. That's www.regions-in-need.